My name is Cheesehead. One day, I woke up and found myself in a strange place. Where am I? I wondered. Uh, who am I? I had no idea how I got here. Two friendly people helped me out. They told me my name was Cheesehead Brown Pants. Cheesehead Brown Pants? That didn't sound right. I checked my pockets for clues to help me remember. All I found was a bubble wand and some bubble soap. Suddenly, my new friend screamed and ran away. I started walking to look for some answers. Soon I arrived in New Kilp City. The streets were dark and empty. I bumped into someone by mistake. Sorry, sir, I said. You are not sorry, the man cried. You are trying to take money from my pocket. I would never, I said. Yeah, right. If you are looking for money, get a job, he said. I went to look for a job at the bank. Mr. Brown Pants, you did not fill out this form, said the bank lady. I know, I can't seem to remember anything, I said. Do you have any special skills? She asked. I can do this, I said, taking out my wand. I blew a shiny, soapy bubble. The lady gasped and told me to leave. Luckily, I found a job at a construction site. Thanks for the job, I told my boss. Brown pants, that hammer is not moving fast enough, he shouted. Yes, sir, I replied. I blew a large bubble and rode it up the building, hammering faster than before. When my boss saw the bubble, he yelled, Brown pants, you can't do that here. You're fired. I wandered around New Kilp City feeling very sad and lonely. I didn't understand why everyone was acting so strangely. At last, I met some people standing by a fire. Hey, do you mind if I blow bubbles? I asked. It will cheer me up. You can't do that here, they said. Don't worry, I said as I took a deep breath and blew a shiny soapy bubble. Suddenly, a street gang appeared. Do you have any idea who we are? The leader asked. I shook my head. We are the Bubble Poppin' Boys, he said. Nobody blows bubbles on our turf. Yeah, nobody, his friend said. We have ways of dealing with bubble blowers like you, the leader added. I started to run as fast as I could, but the Bubble Poppin' Boys chased after me. I had to think of a way to escape. Suddenly, I had an idea. I blew some bubbles and climbed them just like stairs, but this made the gang more angry. Then, I blew bubbles shaped like a raft and an oar. I paddled away from the Bubble Poppin' Boys. But this time they were ready. The gang took up slingshots. They launched pebbles in the air and popped my bubble raft. What was I going to do now? I took a deep breath and blew one giant bubble that closed around the bubble popping boys. They were trapped. The bubble floated away with the boys inside. Suddenly, everyone ran out into the street and started to cheer. You have freed the city! Now we can blow bubbles again! They were so happy that they made me the mayor of New Kelp City! Later, I spoke to the crowd. 
citizens of New Kelp City, I said, I promise you that it will always be safe to blow bubbles in the streets, or my name isn't Cheesehead Brown Pants. But your name isn't Cheesehead Brown Pants, it's SpongeBob Square Pants, said a squirrel I had never seen before. Who are you? I asked. She said her name was Sandy. I am your best friend, Patrick, said a big pink sea star. I shook my head. SpongeBob, come back with us to Bikini Bottom, said Sandy. It will help you remember. I can't. I have an important job to do as mayor, I said. In fact, I have a meeting right now. A boat arrived to take me to my meeting, but it took me to Bikini Bottom instead. Here it is, the Krusty Krab, said Sandy. You must remember this place. Nope, I replied. A crab stepped forward. SpongeBob, stop kidding and start frying up those patties, he said. I was a fry cook before, I asked. The best, said the crab. I'm sure being a fry cook is great, I said but I prefer being mayor of a major city. I began to walk toward the door when suddenly, bonk, something hit me on the head. Ouch, I cried. I rubbed my head and looked around. At that moment, my memory came back. Hey, I remember this place, I said. SpongeBob's back! Sandy cheered. Hooray! cried Patrick. Into the kitchen, SpongeBob, me boy, said Mr. Krabs. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Mr. Krabs, but the people of New Kelp City need me, I said. Just then, there was a report on TV. This just in New Kelp City is in trouble. The, re the reporter said. The streets are clogged with bubbles. No one can see where they are going. Citizens blame Mayor Brown Pants and his new bubble blowing law. Hmm. Maybe being mayor isn't all it's cracked up to be, I said. This is the life. The end.